What's going on everybody? Mr. Double R back with another episode of Spyro and we are gonna go into Dry Canyon. Pretty sure this is another... In fact, I want to say this was the first level with the real thank you for releasing me dragon with which, you know, with that all being all he says. I'm very stuttering. I think there's still one here that says just that. And we'll find out. You can actually use these to... Boom. If I angled that properly, I bet it would have hit that enemy. Anyway, let's go this way first. It's hugging the wall for some reason. Oh, egg thief. There we go. Okay, I thought there was another chest back there. As you can see, there's a big controversy for a later level Twilight Harbor about guns. Well, clearly they could still put in guns. Because these guys are still using guns. They said they changed it for creative, just creative differences, something like that. Just checking, I got all the gems over here. I don't know. I don't know the story. I don't like it. It's not so much that they're shooting. Well, it's not only that they're. Hold on, just give me a second. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Yeah, that would be. Maybe I will put a counter for the thank you for releasing me, dragons. That would be one. Anyway. It's just... It's not so much that they changed them, it's what they changed it into. It's like... It's hard to take seriously. But anyway, let's get... There's either another trophy or another skill point. I cannot remember. But what you do is... Charge vultures. Trophy. Cool. Let's see. Dragon in here. Is that you, Spyro? You the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you were a wee puff of smoke, we've known... Uh, you've known... Ah, uh, I forget. I forgot. Kind of enjoy the old dragons. Phew. Oh man, I keep swearing. I need to stop. Old habits. This is not the game for swearing. Um, let's see, where, what, what's where? Health thing, or a life thing, right here. Fortunately, if you grab it, you gotta... I'll go over there in due time. You can go there now, but, um... If you do it now, you'll have to come, I mean, you have to come back anyway, but it's just, it saves time if you just go there when you have what you need. Wow. There we go. There's a chest over there that requires a key, and we're going to get the key first, and then we'll go over there. Let's see. 
Ah, no. Dude, there we go. Come on. I know I'm not talking a lot, but like I'm getting distracted. Anyway. Now uh, to get the key, we gotta go we gotta go this way. And we gotta go up that way to that dragon, but first let's come down here and get gems we've missed. Not a lot of opportunities to really utilize the role, so I mean, I like the I, the mechanic. Like I like the uh, option of dodging, but it's not really it's not often necessary. So I just pick my moments on when I want to use it when I don't really need to. This area, uh, there's one later in a later uh, world in Dreamweavers. He's a cowbell for some reason. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. <laughs> I ask myself, if I had to class Spyro in one of the the dragon classes like Beast Makers, Peacekeepers, Artisan's World, where would Spyro fall under? And he's the only quadrupedal dragon left in the game. Like, none of the other dragons in this game are four-legged dragons anymore, I don't believe. Ooh, he's picking fat. I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough. They're pretty tasty. Flame broiled with a pinch of salt. But if I had to play Spyro in one of them, I'd say I, I, I personally think Peacekeepers is for him. Um, number one, he's keeping the peace. He's like going around saving people. And, wait a minute, right there. And two, like a lot of them look magical or, but uh, really the peacekeepers and the, ooh, I missed these. And the beast masters or beast makers, whatever the, hell they're, whatever the heck they're called. They're the ones that look super, super like reptilian and like it's hard to, and, and draconic. I mean, the other ones are like all draconic, obviously, but like, some are more like celestial fantasy. Some are more like humanized, but like bestial, draconic. That's beast makers and peacekeeper. And Spyro is like a quadrupedal dragon warrior it's hard to explain my thought process but i think of all the ones he aligns with i'd say peacekeepers is the best most close fit now, a level i'm not looking forward to is the speedway but i'll probably do that in the same episode i do shemp And it's going to require a lot of editing because I'm going to fail multiple times. But for now... Oop, I just hit the, hit the mic. I know I said I was going to do bosses on their own, but like a speedway... I feel like a speedway will be th fine to throw in. I don't really want to do speedways on their own. Maybe.
maybe not, because if I were by the grace of God to pass on the first try, it'd be too short. Alright, how do I want to do this? Um... You can skip, like, the whole level by... I mean, you can make your way right to that dragon if you wanted to. I don't know, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do whatever I want. Alright, I did that. Couldn't remember. This level is kind of an alright one to use the roll because of these guys. But really, really, like the roll isn't really necessary anywhere. It's convenient, I guess. Word of caution, little one. Wait until you grow big, <clears throat> like me, before charging those large enemies. Yo, why don't you help me, like, fight these guys? You got a sword and a shield. I got a little bug. I'm upset that my two deaths up till now are... are, uh, gravity. This dragon over here, I don't know why... I don't know what it is about him, but I really like his design. I want to get all these gems first. Fuck. Ah, my god, I just cannot drop the habit of swearing. Todor, whatever his name is. up ahead are wearing armor and in the ice cave armor can make their feet very slippery hmm. I don't know I just think he's cool looking he's got a bow like all the other dragons as far as I'm aware like all the other dragons and peacekeepers are like close range weaponry and this guy's just like rocking a bow I almost walked right off. Thus creating a third gravity death. Which would have been fairly upsetting. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go back. Okay. Vandor. I don't remember which one he is. Oh, he was a worthless one. Looks kind of cool, but worthless. That's two. Yep, I'm definitely going to make a counter. For all the thank you for releasing me, dragons. Ooh. Let's do what that guy said and just knock him off. Let's see, we are back to where I needed to be. Pretty good. Now here, I'm actually gonna go back to the very beginning. I'd imagine by this point, it's common knowledge. But this, oh, missed a gem. This was something, this whole skip thing I was just talking about, is also how you get something that, as a kid, confused me. And even up until recently, until like, about the same time I learned about that secret in, uh, well, not that secret, those like hidden gems in Clifftown. 
this right here. Boom. Three. Three lives. Three free lives. Well, four. Boom. Right there. And all that lies in your way is big purple norks who really pose no real threat. Oh, don't be fooled. The snowballs go farther now. I think if you time it right, you can flame them out of the sky, uh, out of the air though, so they don't hurt you. But don't quote me on that. You can do that in certain with with certain things in the second uh, game in the series. So who knows? The only way to find out is to try. Thanks for freeing me, Spyro. He's pretty buff for an old guy. Where was I? I don't. I don't know if we should count him as a thank you for releasing me, Dragon. You can if you want, but. I don't think he counts. I know it was 15 in the original game. And Thor was one of them, and they changed up his dialogue. There's actually a trophy for getting all those guys, too. All the ski norks. And as far as I'm aware, there's only three of them. Like I said, be careful. The snowballs travel farther now. Keep your eye on that guy. Ah, oh, man. Whatever, he got me. He earned that. Was that a health one? No. Sparks was just blue, that's why it looked blue. Well, I don't know how it missed me, but no. Using a fireball will not save you. You just have to get out of the way. Alright. Bagnar. The red. You've done well, Spyro. Some dragons thought you weren't ready, but I knew they were wrong. I'm ready, alright. Uh, ready for what? Save the world. Alright, and that is another level complete. In the next episode, we are going to take on the Speedway and Dr. Shemp. And I'm going to dread the Speedway with all my heart, honestly. I hate Speedway so much. But stay tuned for the next one where we finish off the peacekeepers. I will see you in the next one.